Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another LEGO build. You know, I've always wanted to build a Death Star. This is a much smaller scale, but my first Death Star is still a memorable one. Um, now, if you're not familiar, this is the May the 4th promo for this year. Um, it is a technically midi scale um, Death Star 2. It is very similar in scale to the um, Super Star Destroyer that I built a little bit ago. So this is going to go on display right next to it. This is another set from the 40th uh, anniversary of Return of the Jedi. This is probably just about my favorite actual May the 4th promo. Um, and I'll be totally honest, this is the first time I've partaken in it. Um, there's never been just like a one I've always wanted to go after. And I've been big in a Lego, took a couple years off, obviously. Um, then once I started doing this channel, I've started really ramping up my collection more and more and more. Um, and having a blast with it. So when May the 4th was rolling around, I was ready to go. And as soon as I saw it was the Death Star 2 in a mini scale, I was very much ready to go. Um, now this is not going to be, uh, available for sale. So you will not be finding this anywhere aside from, uh, eBay. I believe this in the coin, the last time I looked, are going for like $70 plus already. So yeah, this is, this could have some decent value. Um, now you did have to spend $150 to get it. But if you're any form of Lego fan, you know, that does not take you much <laughs> in this day and age. But yeah, really cool box. It's going to match um, pretty much everything that just happened with the adult series. Um, so the Super Star Destroyer, the Death Star Diorama, the Endor Chase, um, all of these sets for the Return of the Jedi are all going to be like this 18 and plus um, black box design. Then on the back, you do actually have the scale of this guy, which is going to be only six inches tall. Um, so definitely a nice space saver. This is going to look really good on a lot of people's desks. Um, then you do have a picture of the unfinished Death Star, uh, as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Really, really excited to build this small set. Um, it is only 289 pieces. Um, so definitely nothing massive. This will be a pretty short build, but I'm very excited to do so. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for, uh, all the support lately. Sorry I'm a little bit late with some of these Star Wars sets. I know everyone else has had them out for a while. Uh, just with vacation and life catching up. I've just been very, very busy trying to get some uh, renovations at home done. Um, so yeah, finally sitting down today and actually building just a ton of Legos. So thank you all again so, so much. Um, as always, I'm going to do a quick hyperlapse build, go over this at the end in a nice review, and then I'll point out some future projects. Uh, so thank you all so much. Let's get building, everybody. And here's the final build. It is definitely the world's smallest Death Star. <laughs> it is basically the size of a slightly large baseball, um, if you have to put it in perspective. But I do like it. Um, it was one of my favorite build in the world. Um, and you will see I shattered one of the sides um, when I was building it. All I did, I accidentally put like um, a couple of these 1x4s uh, just in the center instead of the outside. If you've built it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, that's why that ended up breaking. It is a bit wobbly, but it is definitely going to be staying on there. Um, so you can, you can bump it a little bit and it's not going to fall. Um, I actually made a display for this. Uh, the Death Star Diorama pop figure actually before I build the Lego one. And then... Um, the Super Star Destroyer, some other pop figures, and then a Carbonite Darth Vader uh, Star Wars uh, Black Series figure. So working on a nice little Darth Vader and Empire display next to my desk, and this will be perfect with it. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. At the bottom, you do have the plaque. I know some people really hate the plaques on these things. I love them. Uh, they're a little bit out of place on a lot of the sets, but on this one, it is relatively perfect. And in fact, the only spot you can put it. So now, Build was pretty straightforward. Um, basically, most of it's just structure and then building these little units as panels. You can see it's hollowed out in the center and then you just go from there. Uh, pretty straightforward. <laughs> There's nothing too advanced with this set. Uh, the unfinished details and also, I don't know if it's supposed to, but this does rotate. 
I might have missed a piece because that's been known to happen when I build it on camera. Uh, I do miss a lot of little pieces. <laughs> um, but once we go to the actual unfinished lab, you do see a lot of really cool details in here uh, using a lot of these little rod techniques as well as some smaller pieces. Um, but the bottom as well, and then a loose droid arm here. Uh, that's really cool. I do like the unfinished side of it for sure. I think it looks really, really cool. And then the only point of obviously color on this besides the red on the plaque is of course going to be the actual cannon itself, uh, which it looks interesting. Now, my only complaint, I wish they would have made the, um, so this is basically just upside down grass, which really cool concept. I think it looks perfect. I wish they would have like custom made a neon green one for this. It's a May the 4th promo and I just wish that was a little bit just more fluent instead or uh, fluid in this sense you have a different green here different green here and a different green here um if they blended them a little bit different i would like it but just this little one by one uh circular piece in the center uh in between these two i just don't like the color difference and i can try and see if there's something out there to make that a little bit better uh that's just some like small detail since this is an anniversary set i just wish they would have done the extra like 0.5 percent and just made it a little bit nicer um, but again, for what it is, it's a very small set. I don't, this is not going to be the most technical set in the world. I do like it. Um, this combined with the Super Star Destroyer, I really love that they're doing this scale of ship again, rather than that just first wave of mini scale ships, um, with that Star Destroyer, the original Star Destroyer, not the Super Class, um, and then the Millennium Falcon. I wish they would do more of this, honestly, um, because I think there's a really good market for smaller sets like this, especially for people with either huge collections or a smaller budget, because not all of us can go out and spend well over a thousand dollars to get the Death Star, or if you're trying to find a Death Star to even more. Uh, one of the local Lego stores near me actually has one sealed, and I believe it's seventeen hundred dollars right now um, on sale for like May the fourth. So yeah, a little expensive uh, to try and find another Death Star. So this is honestly a great like way to satisfy a lot of fans and just say hey at least you can have a death star of some variety you don't have to go out and absolutely shatter your bank account for it um so yeah i really really hope lego and star wars move in this direction more um i think that would be an absolute great decision to actually make some smaller uh some smaller sets like this um just to actually like bridge the gap because right now what we're seeing um and everyone's aware of this you have some okay cheaper sets you have some decent like mid sets for like that 40 to 70 dollar mark but the biggest and best sets right now are just costing an absolute ton i mean even if you look later in the year um just in august when the ucs venator arrives the new gunship and when those couple other sets arrive i mean you're going to be downing close to a thousand dollars just to get that wave um so it's definitely getting very very expensive to be a lego collector and especially a lego star wars collector at this point um, so yeah, I do think that th I, I enjoyed this. This is a really cool set, not the best build in the world. Um, and you know, there are some improvements that could be made to the actual design to make it flow a little bit better. But I think overall, um, it is a really great item and I'm definitely happy I got it. Um, so well done in the May the 4th promo. The coin is awesome as well, but I'm going to be showing that off in the May the 4th haul. Um, once I actually get time to do all of that as well. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for joining me for another video. I upload every single day at 11 a.m. and a lot of smaller videos at 5 p.m. with a bunch of shorts of me building Legos, playing games and stuff mixed through. So check out uh, the absolute plethora <laughs> of content I've um, put out in the last five months. And thank you all so much for helping me uh, slowly creep to my goal, or I should say uh, <laughs> quickly uh, start reaching my goal of 1,000 subscribers this year. So thank you guys so much. Um, in the future, I still have some more Star Wars sets to build. My Lego city was just massively expanded, uh, which if you saw the, uh, the band-aid on my thumb, sorry for the low production value. Uh, unfortunately I did, I hurt my hand a bit while I was, uh, making a huge platform for my Lego city. So, uh, we're going to nurse that wound a little bit, uh, in between Lego builds, but yeah, tons and tons of projects coming up. Uh, I'm working on a massive, massive new thing for my city, uh, which is going to be the Ninjago city block and... Uh, if you're a big fan of modular buildings, Lego City, Lego in general, whatever, um, definitely check out the amazing new uh, Ninjago City modular building that was just announced because it is over 6,000 pieces, launches on June 1st, and I'm going to say only $370 because for the piece count, it's only $370. Um, by comparison, my biggest to date 
uh, that I've built is the Daily Bugle. That was $350 for, I believe, just under 3,800 pieces. So for $10 more and nearly, what, 40% of a piece increase and 21 minifigures, it's it's actually one hell of a deal. So really, really happy about that. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much. Those are just some of the future projects to look forward to. Um, and rip my bank account for when I start the Ninjago's district of the city because, oh, that's going to be an ugly one. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Happy building, everybody.